Good morning everyone. It is January the 14th. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. I hope you're blessed. My name is Pastor Tim from First Son of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is so good to be with you. This, today I'm going to continue on. Yesterday we intro. Uh, Brad Good read the scripture, Romans 12, 2. Today we're going to talk about study, celebration of discipline. Study. Why is that a discipline? Because if you know anybody that gets into studying it, it, it they, they're usually called a nerd or a geek or a dweeb or whatever you want to call it but the fact is that that God has called us to be studiers of his word to be students of his word listen to this in an article um, time management from the unleashing connection in the in 1990 there was an article that was wrote, in one year the average, listen, the average American will read or complete 3,000 notices of forms, read 100 newspapers and 36 magazines, watch 2,463 hours of television, listen to 730 hours of radio, by, you, you can tell this in the 90s, buy 20 records, I would say CDs or now MP3s, Talk on the telephone almost 61 hours. I think that's gone up if you had texting and read three books. So when you begin to think about it, we're very, we are people that really like, we live in the informational age. We, we live in, in, in gaining more information. So I look at the statistics as, as they were written in 1990 and I'm sure that they've changed since then. I can see how they're true. We do read magazines and newspapers. We all watch TV and listen to radio and talk on the telephone. All of these things are very important to our lives. These are the ways we take information and think about it. These are the ways we communicate. But in the midst of all the magazine and all the TV, where is the reading of the Bible? Where is the studying of His Word? Do we make time for that activity? You may wonder why I'm talking about the study as a study of discipline, because it is. It is something that you have to set in your mind and you have to set in as a priority that you're going to do. Every year I, I, I change or I, uh, this year I'm doing something a little bit different, but literally every year I read through the Bible and every year I read in a different version of the Bible. And so that I can learn and study and gain more understanding. This year I'm actually trying, I'm pushing myself a little bit more. In 90 days I'm going to read through the Bible. And so I'm really excited about this, this, uh, this adventure. But I also, each night I, I journal, and we'll talk about this later, but I journal what I've been reading that day. And so as you study God's Word, as you get into God's Word, there is there's so much... Uh, uh, resources out there, and I'll talk about this through this about the resources uh, that I that I found. But Romans twelve two is is literally our our text for this this week. It tells us plainly that we are transformed by something specific. What transformed it is this. It is the renewing of our minds. The study of the Bible it is not not some habit we should have, but it is a transforming power in our life. Life. So as we begin to understand, as we study, and as you look behind me, I have lots of different books, and this this is not just a picture that I put up there. Uh, my my child asked me, I say, Dad, did you read all those books? I have. I'm really excited because it, it, I used to not be a very good reader or a well reader, and now I, I literally read books, and, and now I have no more room in my office, so now it's all on my Kindle. So <laughs> with technology. So, but I, I love reading. I love get, seeing and hearing people's stories. I love, I love reading the Bible. I love taking notes. I, I love preaching about it. So this week we're going to really get into this, this, this aspect of a discipline of study. Well, let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you bless every single buddy that is watching. I pray that you encourage their hearts and give them a great day in your name. Amen. God bless you in your name. Amen. See you tomorrow.